Today we're going to be using a 100 joule eye weld uh, to put some white gold tips on a diamond ring. Um, <clears throat> we're using argon gas and uh, I will also uh, be using something to cover this stone just to protect from reflection. We're going to be using a hand cream. There we go. Just a little dab will do ya. Okay. Now I have this set up for high speed. And we're going to take our uh, 36 gauge wire. That is 0 .005 inch welding wire. And first thing I'm going to do is remove some of that cream by just pulsing at it. There we go. Okay. We're just going to lift up our energy a little bit. And our heat. Because I want just enough heat and energy to get the, the metal to flow. And she's kind of stuck there. There we go. So we're going to work from the back of the tip. And we're going to work forward. towards the, the stone. If you see it fluttering, that's actually the, the laser pulsing quickly. We're just going to Give it a little more heat and energy. One thing about laser welding, we never ever uh, let the metal tell us what to do. We tell the metal what to do, and there we go. set it from different angles. Now if my hand cream starts to vaporize, I'm going to actually add a little more. But again, all what we're having that there for is to protect the stone from any reflection. There we go. Now at this point I'm going to put my, actually I'll put a little more right here on this side. And I'm going to put the wire right on the facet of the stone. And I'm hitting just directly above it. Move it around a little more. If we get the cream on the wire, I just like to wipe it off. There it is. Sucking that wire right into the tip, to the existing thin tip. And now we're going to attempt to put a little more material on the top. Okay, 
So, I'm going to finish up the, the rest of these tips, and when I come back, uh, we'll take a look at the finished product. You can see this one is missing completely, and the rest of these are, are worn down paper thin. Um, uh, what I'm going to do after I add the material, we'll smooth this out with the laser. And I'll show you the finished product before polish and then after polish. Okay, so we finished tipping three of these tips. Uh, one, two, and three. This one I wanted to show everybody. It, the tip is not existent. Uh, so we're going to put uh, one on. But we're going to use slightly different technique. Um, here we're going to first ball up the wire with the same settings. And get a little ball on there. And now I'm going to attach that ball right on top of the stone so I have a base in which to put this tip on. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that again. Make it a little bigger this time. There we go. Okay. Now, once we have a base, now we'll be able to build onto that tip. And when we come back, I'll have all four tips all finished for you. This is the ring after the tips have been replaced. Uh, this was the tip that was non-existent right here. And we'll roll that around a little bit so you could see the height of the tips. And we're ready for polish, for clean and polish. Okay, here's that same ring after a little cleanup and polish.